Hello friends, today I will narrate the tale of the Grumpy Hedgehog. Once upon a time, there was an extremely grumpy hedgehog. At least, that's what the forest inhabitants thought. He constantly wore a frown, complained to anyone who approached him, and quickly bristled his spines, ready to defend himself. The reason for this lack of trust was the hedgehog's long-standing belief that no one from the forest community treated him well. In fact, if you were to ask the forest inhabitants, they could explain that nobody approached him because he quickly raised his spines, always ready to prick anyone who came near. At that time, animals in the forests were much like human communities. When one heard something, they would add their own bits to the tale and share it as if they had witnessed it themselves. Eventually, everyone believed the rumors and the hedgehog became isolated. As the hedgehog distanced himself, he became even more distrustful and withdrawn. The hedgehog started living alone in the vast forest, especially during the spring months when the forest's rapid pace of life would usually make him forget his loneliness. During these months, all the forest animals built nests, expanded their homes, or prepared for the winter. The hedgehog, despite not having anyone to talk to, found solace in observing the other animals in the forest. However, when summer ended and the seasons changed, the hedgehog's melancholy days began. In autumn, the joyous birds of the forest would migrate to warmer regions, and other animals would retreat to their homes to prepare for winter. The hedgehog's heart, already cold from the season, longed for someone to talk to, to joke with, and, most importantly, for someone to stroke him. No one had touched him affectionately for as long as he could remember. The hedgehog dreamed of being caressed by someone, imagining that a single stroke could warm him throughout the winter. Yet, he knew it was an unlikely dream. After all, who would dare to stroke a hedgehog? However, as fate would have it, one cold day, while the hedgehog was searching for food among dry leaves, he noticed a little girl approaching along the forest path, singing a song. As usual, the hedgehog curled into a ball, bristling his spines, and observed the girl cautiously. When the girl saw the hedgehog, she approached gently, her warm hand extended with a large mushroom. The hedgehog, despite his instincts urging him to raise his spines, hesitated. The girl, understanding the hedgehog's fears, reassured him, please, lower your spines. I want to pet you. I mean no harm. The hedgehog's heart raced, torn between fear and the longing for affection. Slowly, he lowered his spines, unfolding himself, revealing his sharp spines and black eyes. The girl, impatient with excitement, reached out to stroke him before he was fully opened. In that instant, the hedgehog involuntarily curled back into a ball, fearing he might harm the girl. However, a sharp spine pricked her finger and blood appeared. Startled and in pain, the girl jumped up, tears streaming down her face. Without a word, she ran away, leaving the hedgehog alone in his regret. Days passed and the hedgehog remained sorrowful. One day, while searching for food, he saw the girl returning, not singing this time. She approached cautiously, holding another mushroom. The hedgehog, remembering the pain he had caused, warned her about his spines. But the girl insisted, I don't mind, I just wanted to show you kindness. Hesitant but hopeful, the hedgehog slowly lowered his spines, allowing the girl to approach. This time, she carefully avoided his spines, gently placing the mushroom beside him. The hedgehog, feeling a mix of fear and longing, allowed the girl to stroke him. As her hand touched his spines, he gradually opened up, revealing a happiness he had long forgotten. From that day forward, the little girl and the hedgehog became the best of friends. The hedgehog learned the warmth of being loved and cared for, and the girl discovered the joy of befriending a once lonely creature. Their friendship blossomed, teaching everyone in the forest that even the grumpiest among them could soften with a little love and understanding. And so, the tale of the grumpy hedgehog and the kind girl became a heartwarming story in the enchanted forest.